So under the bonnet, here we go. Ignore the 12 volt wiring, it needs redoing, but this is the inverter. This is the high voltage junction box. <coughs> Down here we've got the motor there. Uh, this is the adapter plate that connects the motor to the old original gearbox. There we go. Uh, up here we've got the Outlander charger and DC DC converter. This is the Zafira power steering pump. This is the brake vacuum pump. Uh, this is the BMS. Uh, the oil cooler for the motor. Down here we've got the battery box and the radiator. This is how you start the electric beetle. Ignition on as usual. Uh, after a second or so, turn it to the start position. Contact us close after pre charge, it goes into run mode. Dash is pretty much as it was. You know the airbag light. I need to switch that off. Uh, this little display is the new one that I've added. Just it shows various bits and bobs about the battery. Uh, everything else works as it did. Rev counter and so on. Uh, the speedometer. Uh, fuel gauge sort of works. Uh, the only thing I've lost is the heating. Obviously there's no engine creating waste heat, uh, so the Outlander heater, I've been making this little prototype, sort of, turn it up to turn up the desired temperature, turn it down to turn down the desired temperature and off, uh, but yeah, so that's how the heating works, the rest of it goes through the blowers, and the rest of these work as normal. AC, it's been deleted so it isn't there, and uh, let's go for a drive. Right, uh, just use the gearbox as normal to go into reverse, uh, this is because I decided to couple with my existing gearbox, and there we go, so I just put it in reverse, there we go. Brakes and power steering are uh, working. Go. Into first gear. Oh, here we go. I tend to use first gear. Maybe to about 20, 25, 30 mile an hour or so. Switch into second and then. Probably stay in second up until 65, and just pop it into seventh. Uh, pop it into third. 70, 70 mile an hour. Uh, a lot of people who do this use a, a bigger motor. Mine's quite small, so they can get away with just leaving it in third, not self in third, <coughs> and just drive everywhere in third. My motor is quite small, so it hasn't got the torque to do this. Uh, so I have to use the gearbox. It's still it's still very drivable. Uh, no clutch, so just just lift your foot off the throttle and change. And yeah, so yeah, we're doing 30 mile an hour now. Second gear, motors are just under 4,000 RPM. Quiet, smooth, works quite well. There we go, off the green light, straight mile an hour, straight up to it, and then into second. So one of the things I've done um, 
is that the main engine ECU has been replaced with a custom board that manages all the that sends all the signals to the inverter so uh, the throttle signals uh, the brake signals go into, into the old ECU plug uh, and that plugs into a, a new board that then translates these to CAN bus messages uh, puts them on the CAN bus for the inverter <coughs> okay, this, this board also does uh, things like uh, when the charge it, when the BMS detects that the plug's plugged in for charging uh, it sends the signal to the inverter uh, that we want to con close the contactors and then start charging. Uh, the BMS controls the charger. Uh, it sends out the appropriate camber signals uh, to the Outlander charger. Uh, it's just that the inverter controls the contactors. Back with me. Uh, right, so range. Uh, this has got a, a relatively small battery pack in it. Uh, it's from a, a Golf GTE, uh, so it's, it's 8.8 kilowatt hours. Um, it's really quite small. But then again, it only cost me 500 pounds from uh, eBay from the crashed Golf. Uh, and for that, I get I get 20, 25 miles. Obviously not a, not a, a long distance car. Oh, down. Uh, yeah, so it's not a long distance car. Uh, but again, I can get most places that I go to regularly. I can do in this car. Uh, the heating does affect the range a little bit. This is a web interface that I built for the charger. I can see various bits of information there: state of charge, charging current, uh, battery temperature, and charge temperature. Uh, so, thanks for watching.